KHKT News Today. More than 1,000 people have already downloaded plans to make our style. 3D printed guns, despite a court agreement barring access until Wednesday, officials said. The Office of Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro sent out a press release on Monday announcing the downloads. The Digital Firearms Company, Defense Distributed, had promised that on August 1, the age of the downloadable gun formally begins, said Shapiro's office. Today, the defendants claimed in court that they began distributing gun files even earlier, on Friday. By Sunday, 1,000 people had already downloaded 3D plans for AR-15 semi-automatic assault rifles. According to Shapiro, the digital gun designs were downloaded over the weekend following a federal hearing in Philadelphia, which was initiated by the AG. During the hearing, Defense Distributed apparently agreed to block all Pennsylvania IP addresses until at least Wednesday, and claimed they would also stop posting their downloadable plans online. Josh Blackman, a lawyer for the company, confirmed Monday that more than 1,000 people had gotten their hands on the weapon's information, but he refused to admit that it was all downloaded between Friday and Sunday. This is a free speech case. This isn't a gun case, he told CNN. One state cannot censor the speech of a citizen in another state. Starting Wednesday, Americans will be able to legally download the 3D printed gun plans. The public safety controversy, as Shaprio puts it, erupted after Defense Distributed managed to score a federal settlement, allowing founder Cody Wilson to publish the gun plans online. Wilson had sued the U.S. government in 2015 after being ordered by State Department officials to take down a series of designs he posted for a 3D printed pistol, dubbed the Liberator. Attorneys General from more than 20 states sent a letter on Monday to Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Attorney General Jeff Sessions, asking them to pull out of the settlement. As the chief law enforcement officers of our states, we believe the settlement terms and proposed rules are deeply dangerous and could have an unprecedented impact on public safety, the letter said. In addition to helping arm terrorists and transnational criminals, the settlement and proposed rules would provide another path to gun ownership for people who are prohibited by federal and state law from possessing firearms. Shapiro decided to sue on Monday along with Governor Tom Wolf and the Pennsylvania State Police, to block defense distributed from legally posting the plans. Senator Chuck Schumer, DNY, has also voiced his outrage. The danger that could happen can be enormous, said the senior lawmaker, speaking to reporters last week. To have crazy people have easy access. To have terrorists have easy access to this kind of website and allow them to make plastic AR-15s undetected, so-called ghost guns, justifies the imagination, he added.